Ooh, transform two cards. That could be spicy. Hmm. Beam Cell and Blizzard. Okay. One of those cards is just bad right off the bat. Pretty scary. <clears throat> Frost. Hey, Frost. Frost for the Blizzard. And it's just, you know, it's better than having to strike. But an early Blizzard like this is not ideal. Claw versus Sweeping Beam, which is AoE. I'm going to do Claw. Because Claw, it's going to be... I can lose Blizzard and get a Relic. Yes. That's actually perfect. I fixed it. I fixed the title. I fixed the title. The title's not there anymore. Cool Headed versus Rebound. I like Cool Headed. In a deck that has at least one claw. Oopsies. I should have played that a little bit more close to the chest there. We're going to go for two elites here. Well, we'll see. Should we see what we hit here? All right. A little low on life, so the elite thing is. Hmm. I have tried to play this room in my. It is fun. We had a fun time. Ball lighting here. I'm gonna go aggro here. I, I might have to pivot to the right. I might have to pivot to the right. That's an awkward turn. Next turn's a good turn. I want a Frost Generation at that time. Bean the Bone. More Claws. Is this... Is this enough to kill the Elite? I think so. I think we're fine. I'm gonna go aggressive here. Kunai? Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. We've got a... Okay, we need to get some good draws here. Because this could get out of hand. The days could really mess me up here. The days could really mess me up. But that one kunai proc is... It's magical. And kunai with like two cold snaps is like something I dream about. Like when I sleep at night, I dream about kunai and two cold snaps. Because you just do cold snaps to get frost generation, but you're also getting a kunai. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. And then we got me the bone, so this is just a really, really strong start. Really, really strong start. Like, me and the bone is already on the defect, which is kind of doing an aggressive build like I am. You couldn't ask for anything better. Pantograph on top of it? Wow. So now Blizzard becomes a little bit better, because we actually have some frost generation with three sources. And that's AoE, which we don't have. It's an AoE, but I think we'd rather do Reinforced Body to dump the Dexterity from Kunai. Whoa, I just spilled tea. Uh-oh. One second. Okay, we're back. Did it, what, what did I miss here? Nothing? Yeah, we won the mod. Hologram here, and Weaken. 
both things I enjoy. I, I know there's a shop here I could have waited, but let's upgrade the weekend. Let's upgrade the hologram. And I think our deck is actually bonkers. I miss everything. 100, 100 for the Butterfingers. That, that's like the first time that's ever happened. I mean, can not ever, but happened in a long time. Thank you for the 100 bits, man. All for one. I appreciate that, um... Gets... How you doing, buddy? Fanagraph. I had to it too hard. You got me, it's too hard. Get that weekend, baby. Where's the weekend? To get that claw scaling. A beta on some cards because it's for the funny effects on stream, but also some of the beta cards, some of the beta art is kind of funny. I mean, it's, it looks kind of nice. Dexterity popping off. I love this deck already. This is a dream deck for me. It's a dream deck. Love it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the kunais. It's hard to complain about one thing. Uh, one thing I can complain about is not being able to undo when I make a mistake. Like, in terms of pathing, that's nothing to complain about. It's just, if you take your time, there's nothing to complain about. I only, I only complain about the fact that I'm, I misclick on pathing. That's just me, that's just me memeing, though. Like, I think they, not much to complain about in this game. And I'm definitely not going to complain now we have a deck like this. Can I get you cast attention when it feels bad? What's up, Daft Joe? Thank you for 200 bits, dude. Appreciate that. Alright, uh, so seek, so we can seek out the offer one whenever we need it, or just do echo form, because echo form could double our our claws and just make this deck even more bonkers with kunai and, and all that stuff. I think echo is just too strong. We don't get energy relic, but we have running pyramid, so we can hold on to um We can hold on to like a reinforced body for a big block when we need it. We can hold on to all for one to get the most value out of it. I think I like it better than like yeah, we can get rid of two strikes and a defense and do upgraded stuff. Or we can just do Runic Pyramid and even hold on to Echo Form so we can play it on a better turn. It's like, it does like Pyramid. I think it does like the Pyramid. And Ori could be more Claws, right? We already have All for One. We have two Claws. Ori, we've been down this path before. We ended up with a nine Claw run. We add five more Claws and then we just have Claw, 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 All for One, Claw, 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 claw and Blog. But I think... I think we like the Runic Pyramid just because... The ability to hold on to reinforced body, which should be a lot of block, or all for one. And everything else that might come. We could also hold on to go for the ash for the guaranteed weaken. But yeah, adding more claws would be very nice. I just think that Rooting Pyramid is going to help us more in the long run. So, do we want more claws? Nah. Can hold on to the the body and other things we might want to utilize. Alright. This is inspired by Chrissy, because Chrissy beat me with a claw deck. I I can do one elite. I don't know if we want to do two. Like, am I feeling confident to do this elite and then that elite and then that elite? Probably not. Because we still have energy problems. So I think we are avoiding more than one elite. Or a path that has a lead that early. I'm pretty sure. And the deck is kind of strong. Like if we get Echo Form out. And the fact that we have written me the bone to heal up. And the fact that we also are scaling with Claw pretty well. And making good block with Kunai. I can imagine we can handle some elites. Especially if we have Echo Form out. On turn 1 or 2. 
So maybe we can do two elites here. Or even three. I'm thinking right here, elite, rest if we need to, elite, and then another elite. I mean, a bad draw like, could affect me hell. Or what would be a bad draw? We probably don't have enough block for the slavers. The safest thing is just go here. Hallway, hallway, event, event. Here we get three events and two floor fights. Well, here we get a shop and four floor fights, which... It might be too much for me to handle. I mean, are we making that much block that quickly? Not really. I think in Act 1 it seems strong, but in Act 2 our block is gonna struggle with three energy. So avoid some of the hallway flights, fights. Uh, we can take three hallway fights. Huh. So this is a turn. We have me in the bone, so maybe we just bite the bullet. Bite the bullet here. Me in the bone. I didn't have enough space for beam cell here. But we had enough space for block though. Still didn't get me in the bone, but I like the focus putt. More so than the energy putt. More beam cell. I think we want to keep the deck small ultimately. That's a dark orb against a champ. And maybe the dark orb could be useful just to kind of let that simmer and no, okay, we can let the Dark Orb simmer against the champ. Mm. It looks like we're going to be doing claw scaling against the champ, which is dangerous. What's up, Crusathos? I do want to block here. Um, well, we get me in the bone. So if I were to get me in the bone at 35. So if I were to block for 16, we're 18 block. We're doing pretty good. Instead of getting Kunai proc here. This, block, this fight's a little scary for us. Okay, so I can block here and take 8, which gives me me and the bone, or I can knock this guy down and take 10. I should have kept the weaken for that guy, but... Uh, this is unfortunate. If I do cold snap and then dual cast... Me and the bone's gonna be so integral for this deck. Ah, I don't wanna take the damage, but if you take the damage, that means we get me and the bone guaranteed. That is, if we're not gonna take damage anyways. Which it looks like we are. I should have probably just bought the potion, but it's okay. Six, ten. Echo form, very nice. All right, beautiful. Yeah, we need we need to basically make space for some of these cards. So if we upgrade Zap and dual cast, we can. Empty our hand easier.
Yeah, one turbo wouldn't be bad just to get make sure to ensure that I get the uh Nice. More reinforced body. I can play it for zero just to get out of my hand or just dump my, my energy, which I think is nice. Steambird obviously works well all for one. So I don't know if I'm going to rest here or, or feel confident that I have focus pot for this elite. We could rest, and if we rest, then if we take 22 damage, we get a heal anyways from me in the bone, or we can upgrade something like Zap or Dual Cast. I think we got to upgrade here and hope that the... Um, not hope, but I think the focus pot should be fine. But so eight block here. Damage. I think I have enough damage with all for one. So I could weaken this guy or I could get another Kunai. This is just a turn where I have vulnerable. But I could do 7 frost, but it's 11, 11 plus 11, 22. They're doing 24. Or, or I could do this. What's up, Stratvin? How you doing, buddy? Okay, that's a defrag versus a cold snap. I mean, cold snap is just so good because we have uh, the kunai with it. But um, the defrag makes the deck pretty good because we can take the existing frost that we have and make it much better. Turbo for the Echo Form, yeah, that's, that's not a bad consideration, but I think the Defrag still is edging out here just because it gets me the uh, edging out, by the way. It gets the existing Frost much better. My dog is crying, I think. Size done to leave this run. <sighs> Ornamental fan as well. I mean, this the seat is just stupid. The seat is stupid.
Take care, Epic. Sleep tight, buddy. Glacier on top of that. Would of course not be better than Glacier. Because of Kunai and DeFi purposes. It's a Glacier Plus, though. So here I gotta be careful because... This guy could mess up my deck pretty bad. Pretty bad. This guy can mess me up. Uh oh. We're running pyramid in this fight is no bueno. Scary stuff. Scary, scary stuff. That was a zero cost hologram. Snake on run pyramid is going to be scary. I could make room in my hands. The reinforced body are still much better blocks. I mean, technically, I guess lightning wins, right? So I'm getting 12 passive block plus 7. I take 1 damage, but I get this is probably okay to play. Because I gain 7 plus 12 passive block. I take 1 damage. Is it better to just... Double defend again. Clean out my hand. Just a little bit. Drawing one card per turn, by the way. Now we have more lightning, which is problematic. This is 14 damage plus 6. One damage off. But lightning is lethal, so this is 14 plus... Oh, all for one twice actually brings itself back. That's cool. I think we can take a triple plus, no, no, right? Just to help get the echo form out, maybe? Yeah, we'll take one. It also works with reinforced body pretty well. We gotta be careful with the voids though. And now we don't get. Now we don't get Echo Form out as easily. So if we do all for one, we do get Echo Form out. But then we don't get the block. We're supposed to get a little bit of block. Is Echo Form even necessary for this fight? I feel like Echo Form is not even necessary for this fight. The gaping meme strikes again. Seek plus. Just a random seek plus. Just, just throwing it out there. I think maybe we upgrade Echo Farm for the chances we can't for the turns we can't play it, or we do more card draw with the cool headed here. Well, I gotta take my dogs out, and it's gonna probably take like eight minutes, because I think I've been going fast. It's like seven, eight minutes as opposed to five. Uh we can upgrade dual cast. It, it would mean that we can play our frost or our zap. I mean, that's not bad. But maybe I don't want to have this back with all for one. I want to only get the, these cards. 
I think there's still a chance that we don't get to play Echo Form, and if we can hold on to it and have Turbo guarantee it, it's probably pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to be right back. I got to take my dogs out. Longer than usual, guys. That was probably like 11 minutes. That's probably longer than usual. My bad. We're back, though. We want to take three damage, right? Oh, it's okay. We have Panic Raft. She's already better than Danish to me? Really? I don't doubt it. She speaks Australian. Which means she's like... Something there. I tried to put her as fine. Recall. All right, so what are we doing with this fight? In this fight, I guess we're scaling up the claw. She's about halfway across the earth. Yeah, but. Is Claw Scaling enough? Chris, do you speak Russian or are you using Google Translate? We, we should scale Kanai a little bit more before we like push him forward, right? I guess I could I can scale Kanai one more time here and then start the push. I won't be vulnerable next. Actually, I'm gonna be vulnerable next turn. He's reapplying the buffs. I want to try going now, but this means that I'm going to be, oh, this is a perfect time to go now.
One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't got space here. Easy clap. I mean, this deck is awesome. Like, this combo I love so much. Mediate? What's going on? Yeah, English only. Because if... Uh, I mean, for here and there, you might be able to, like, you know, say something as a greeting to it, not English, but... As far as moderation purposes are concerned, we should keep it in English. So since we can't understand it, it's just better to, for moderation purposes to keep it in English. You know, like there's no reason to... I mean... I mean, you could talk, you know, to a friend in Russian here and there, but I mean... I mean, I think if it gets out of control and it's Russian or any other language, not, not specifically Russian, every, with everything moderation, I think if, you know, there's a lot of Russian speaking going on, it's like whispering at a table. It's like whispering at a, a dinner table. And no one else can hear you except for the person you're whispering to. But beyond that, it's also just for moderation purposes. Oh, sorry. What's up, buddy? No more. So, bias cognition, I think with the Runic Pyramid, if we do find a way to get artifacts, bias cognition could be good for us. I'll take the energy here. It means we're less likely to find Core Surge, but we have enough gold to look for Core Surge or something like that. And at this point, we will like Buffer or something like that. But... I, I want the energy here. What's up, Priya? So we upgrade Echo Form so we don't have to play it this turn. We're looking at uh, 18 plus 22. It's 40 damage. This is uh, blocking for 30... To, yeah, we, we can just do this this turn. Echo form the next turn. She's gonna block for 11. I could, I could do this. I can keep hologram so we can do all for one twice. Just get this out of this cycle. Or we can do... Yeah, let's do this. The deck has so many options. The boss audition seems kind of like a, a curse, but I mean, I can use it when things are getting rough. I mean, stack is not bad because we can guarantee when stack is played, but do we need a card like stack in our deck? Like, with Rune Pyramid, we can, we can play stack when it's in its best case, and also it's already upgraded, so that could be a good way to get block. Do I need it though? I think we're making so much block as it is. But I think with the heart, we're going to want uh, the ability to block for a lot. The bomb. Our AoE is suspect, so that could be AoE for us. Nah, I think we want to keep the... We want to stop adding cards.
Oh, wait. With the madness... With the madness plus, we could actually go infinite with hologram and all for one. I remember, we done we did some crazy stuff before where... Because we have ornamental fan... <clears throat> It's, uh, against the heart, that's just... Ooh. Against the heart? Or against Act 4 Elite? Or even against, like, the Awakened one? Uh, I think... I think we're gonna save Scum just to get the Madness Infinite. It's a little hard to guarantee, because Rooting Pyramid's gonna make our hand clogged, right? Not only is it gonna make our hand clogged, but also we need... We need to guarantee... It's going to be hard to make it guaranteed, I think. I think it's worth a shot, though. Keep it spicy. So, like, here we get all for one in hologram. Make sure we can do all for one again. And we we could we could go infinite right now. I think it's. I know I say some to get the madness, but I think this is this is cool, and uh, yeah, I should have been taking my time anyways to kind of think about the, the options. But I mean, I think that's really cool. Wing boots. Eh. That's unfortunate. So if we get curses, we get all that gold, and because we have one more, we don't. We just don't get. We just get gold and nothing else. And there is a shop here. And there's a shop in Act 4. But that's a lot. I almost can't use all that gold. I almost can't use all that gold, though. I think the rare relic, if we can find calipers. I mean, the rare relic, there's so many. There's a handful that we haven't got yet. So there could be anything. It's not like calipers is guaranteed. So I, maybe the gold can also help us buy calipers. Should we just rest just so we don't die to this elite? Oh no, we're going to the shop anyways. What am I talking about? I guess card draw is the best thing to help. Orange pellets gets rid of what? So fission is also a nice way to... I think fission is just really good. Orange pellets with bias cognition, no? Yes, but do we have another power? Yeah. We could also do Runic Tokahedron. If if I get to full life of Pantograph, Runic Tokahedron might become pretty useful. That's five energy. I know it's... I have so much gold that I think it's worth it to just buy. I mean... With Pantograph, this could give me a little more oomph. I like heat sinks though. Heat sinks is good for card draw, and it also can help me have less bad turns, but also help me with the um, finding the combo, getting the bias cognition, orange pellets thing going out. There's a shop here. So we can do an elite and then the shop and then sparkle, or we can go here, shop, and then sparkle. Do we rest? Now uh, we upgrade biased.
Gotta take Sapphire. That opener is insane because it also makes my combo do. That's funny. Dolly's mirror. So we can add another all for one. So the madness thing is easier to do. Or we can add another madness. <laughs> or we can add another hologram. So it's either add another all for one or add another hologram. Also, we have bottled lightning. So we can do bottled lightning on seek. I do all three altruistic. Can I see it? I don't know. More madness. Another echo form. Another vice. If another vice with the orange pellets, uh, we just we just win, right? Because like, we have orange pellets, and another bias is just kind of like ten focus is nuts. But if I bottle seek. You're right. I could just do seek twice. Now, if I dolly, if I copy seek, um, I, I can more likely do this uh, madness thing. We need two elites, right? Two elites. Ah, uh, whatever. Thing is, we don't have letter opener now. So the problem is, hmm, I guess it's not a problem. Nice. Wonderful. If I get an attack, I can get rid of the bias. It's disgusting. No, I haven't followed up on it yet. It's infinite. Echo form right away. I mean, that's nuts. I could play echo form this turn. I could echo form this turn, and then from there, I just break the game. Um, I could also draw first and maybe look for hologram. So now we have guaranteed combo. Oh, wait, it's not guaranteed because Echo Form has to be played. Uh, okay. It's not guaranteed. But I can make it so next turn is guaranteed, right? Um, yeah, so we just have one part of the combo already. We need to, if we do Echo Form, I can do double bias. I mean, double. So the thing is, I have uh, meat in the bone, and I have pantograph. So if I take damage here, I'm taking 16. I heal it up, and then I get pantograph, and it's pretty free. I could also just wait. I mean, I guess I could do turbo now, right? Turbo now is not bad. You can double, double. Uh, defrag next turn. I 
I know I just got rid of hologram. That was my bad. I should have maybe went for infinite. That was my bad. That was my bad. Double biased. Double hologram. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if I if I save hologram, okay, it's okay. If I do glacier, I can make all for one free, which is I guess good enough. I mean, I might get lucky here. All right, it's still good enough for me. The amount of value that I have is insane. Like, I, I don't care if it's not exact infinite. No, no, no. It's impossible to lose. It's more than good enough for me. I don't think that'd be nice right now if I get, like, calipers or something. Calipers would be nuts, though. the wounds right that's unfortunate all right I actually got to free up some space in my hand so I could do the double all for one here I need a free up space in my hands. I really missed out on medkit, right? A courier. That's nuts. We already got all for one. Okay, so we got we got infinite. Anchor, compile. I mean, compile's not even necessary, though. I mean, it is. It is. I mean, it is a card draw. The compile. It is card draw. I don't think we need it though. I don't think we need this.
Whoops. Should have biased first. No, I didn't want to draw that many cards. Rip. So what could I upgrade to make my life easier? What would make what could I upgrade to make my life easier here? Off front doesn't make my life easier. We reinforce body for those bad turns. So in the in the in this case that I have a bad turn, reinforced body is blocking for more. I can't choke anything. No, but Dukas also is a way to, um, it means zero cost means it's easier to get all from one to be free because I don't have to play it. Right? Because anything at zero cost can't get hit by madness. But I think, uh, I think we just want to upgrade reinforced body for the bad turns. I could also just rest. If we have Panagraph, so the resting would be absolutely stupid. It's gonna take some time. Take a little bit of time. A little bit of time. The block's nutty. Imagine calipers. I mean, I really wanted calipers, but it's not necessary. Uh, this makes my life harder. I mean, maybe not. It's gotta be slower. That was okay. I was making the gaping face. All right, that my mouth was open. I was focusing. All right, that, that's because that's the gaping meme. That's the spot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we win. We win, guys. Yay. Make this faster for myself.
<laughs> What's it called? I haven't played spell break? No, but I'm, I'm curious to try it. All right, guys. Not time to do the heart. Time to do the heart here. I mean, I guess dual cast makes it easier for me, right? But... Sure. Why not? Membership card with pen with courier and all this gold. I mean, sure. But what am I looking for? Continue puzzle is not bad. I like Grumman Horn. Bag of marbles is not bad. What else are we looking for? One or move, right? One more card remove equals happy days for us. So we, like, we remove a defense. We can remove ball lightning at this point. You want to find something like bag of prep. Bag of prep would be ideal. So should we keep doing buying stuff for looking? Shuriken makes my life much easier. You want to remove a card though, so I can I can remove I can remove all lightning. We also like bag of marbles is not bad. Mumfat hand is Mumfat is actually kind of scary because it could mess up the combo. But on turns like this, it makes like echo fag and echo form and defrag. Easier. Alright. Echo frag is what I said. Echo frag. Echo frag. Okay. Are we like doing double double defrag here? Doing glacier multiple times. We have Pantograph, so we can take some damage. It's all good. So if I do Madness, is it gonna is it gonna hit that hologram? Like, I'm curious. Right now, hologram is zero because I'm off at hand. If I do Madness, is it gonna count? Does it count? Because, hmm. I mean, this is something interesting to find out. No, we, it's okay. We can take damage. It's totally fine. I don't want to manage Glacier because I want to just get the go, go infinite here. We could try and see if this is... It says removes the cards, but random card your hand to zero, but... It should hit this regardless. But the fact that it's zero cards right now means... I wonder if it gets avoided altogether. Hmm. Try for science? I guess we can try for science. Yeah, I got hit. It looked like I got hit there. Alright, we, we, we can take a little bit of damage. It's totally fine. Hops is fine all for one. <laughs> totally fine. Hops is fine all for one. <laughs> it is totally fine. I meant to do weak into it. No, it's okay. Because we're going to. Be... Oh no, we want to get. The... That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Whoops. Doesn't matter. Still got pantograph. So if I do fissioned, uh, then I'm getting. I should help. My chance of getting all for one, but we're gonna do bias twice. And we're gonna do fission. And we go infinite. Yay! Not to mention we also have 13 focus. Alright. This is dangerous because we gotta make sure we hit I believe I've I've done this before where we we just barely have space for the all for one. Just barely.
But that's something you gotta be careful for with the heart, is uh, making sure you have space. And the 13 focus is not bad. Ah, that too, but you know, that's totally fine. That That's totally fine, because, I mean, our focus is insane, and... Yeah, that's fine. You wanna find hologram here? I just want to free up space in my hands. <clears throat> trying to free up space in my hand. That's all I'm trying to do. Just free up space in my hands. There we go. Free up space in my hand here. Bottle flame? All for one bottle flame is actually so good. So we guarantee infinite first turn. Guaranteed infinite. Not bad. These are my kinds of decks. And this is my kind of deck. Just get the block and so I don't take because we, we can technically get perfect here, right? So let's let's do this. Might as well do biased. Loop. Loop gives me the block for the next turn, so I don't have to worry about blocking. Loop is perfect. I mean bias is obviously just free focus. But loop makes it so that we don't take damage on the first card we play, but the first card we play is always going to be hologram anyways. Yeah, I can perfect the heart right now. We're going to perfect the heart right now. Um, biased? Just to get more focus? I think just get loop. So let's get our damage quarter right now, which is going to be the Not to mention, doing this also gives us a crazy amount of kunai, but we want to hit for 200 damage. But I, I could also just milk it just to get the kunai as much as I want, which is kind of broken. Like, I could give myself, you know, 100 kunai, 100 dexterity if I want to. And right now the loop is doing nothing for the lightning, but once we get the frost, it should be good. I mean, we already got the damage quarter, but I mean, maybe give myself like, uh, I don't know, like 8 dexterity. Although, we, I think we already won. So let's just end it right after this lucky number seven. We also get rid of all that frail and weaken and all that good stuff. But yeah, you want block right away. So let's just get some block. And then... We even get some weaken. That's just for loot purposes. And Claw makes my life easier, but... Alright, that's just GG. Just want to make sure we get the damage. Oh, we didn't play a, a power, so we don't get rid of the frail here. I should do claw just to make my life easier, though, in terms of damage. Oops! Oh my god! How do I actually mess that up? We're actually fine, though, because we have weakened and plus tons of block. Lol. I mean, we're totally fine. We're totally fine. It's totally fine. Don't worry. It's totally fine. 
when clicking goes wrong, this is for drama, okay? Drama suspense. That's all this for. It's drama and suspense. So double bias is just disgusting. Oh, we have echo form, right? So we can play double bias without taking damage. And now it's hmm, gonna be very nice. Let's get an attack though. Like that would be nice to get an attack right now. There's the attack. All right, and now we got loop as well. Only downside is that we're not doing the 200 damage turn thing. Got a free up space in my hands. So I don't need like any of these cards. Just want to draw into my all for one. There it is. Alright, so let's just get rid of the artifacts. I also need to make up more space in my hands. Okay, uh, let's also make him vulnerable, why not? Let me not mislick this time. Why not? Add some poison to the mix. That deck is awesome, dude. Don't you guys love playing solitaire? Oh, he's done. That's right. Uh, we got to free up space in the hand. So let's do. Uh... I don't want. Don't want. I don't want to actually. Don't want to free up space. I don't want to free up space because I don't want to draw into a full hand. I want to just. Uh... Is that how it works, though? I think what happens is. The rest of the stuff get to the discard pile. I think it tries to draw full hand, but it still goes to a discard pile. Oh no, it just draws two. Got it, got it. Yeah. How do I not know that mechanic? Okay. Um. Free up space. Oh, we already have it. So we already have only one zero cost card in the deck. Woo! That was awesome, dude. Uh, it scores like 3,000. 3,000 in my opinion. But I didn't get that many perfects on the elites. Nice. 2,159. GG. So, do we get... Okay, so I guess we got the Beyond Perfect for killing the Heart Boss because we didn't get perfect on Slime Boss. Well, actually, we got the kill a boss rare relic. No, we took normality for gold. So, yeah, but beyond perfect counted. There should be like a special bonus, right? For killing it perfect, in my opinion.